a local widow is now facing a pretty tough battle against breast cancer, but she's got a strong outpouring of support behind her. Community members have now joined together to offer help. Joining me this morning, we got Jill Salamone, Angie Weldeshofer, Trisha Mullen, Patty Raker, and Ann Ryan. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. So, Angie, let's start with you. Tell us about her story. Thank you for letting us share her story. Absolutely. I've been friends with Lisa since second grade at St. Dominic and wow. um, gone to high school with her. We've all gone to high school with her and she's just really had a rough time. Um, she was widowed in 2003. Um, two weeks later her mom driving up to Chicago was killed in a car accident and then six months later her dad unexpectedly died of a medical issue um, that wasn't really um, identified previously. So she just really had a rough time and then she went through two, you know, a back surgery um, from a fall and then she had two subsequent back surgeries and she's still living with daily um, pain every single day from those injuries and now she's struggling with breast cancer. Um, recently found out that it's progressed to stage three breast cancer so um, she's got a really really great strong family support and she's got a really strong faith in God and she's remained positive and I'm so proud of her. Yeah and um, so Trisha what are you guys doing? Let's see. So event. this coming Friday we're having a fundraiser for her. It's going to be at Jim and Jack's on the river on River Road on the west side of town and it's going to be a really great time. Uh, it's a Mardi Gras theme. Lisa's family really enjoyed Love Mardi Gras that. and celebrating so we're gonna have the beads and everything. Oh going. yeah. We have live music by Project Doyle. We have 40 baskets we're raffling off as well as a trip to Naples, Florida. Oh so my goodness, that are, sounds incredible. Yeah. And uh, you know, some of the prizes, of course, these baskets, this is what really can raise money, a lot of mm -hmm. money for people, uh, for Lisa especially. Yeah. And so uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about some of the things that you guys are offering in? Well, we, I think we're all totally surprised by the outpouring from the community because sure. literally every day somebody walks in, calls us or drops off at our houses, um, money, gift cards, more baskets. You know, we're, I think we're up to like 40 baskets now, but then oh. we have the condo in Naples for five nights, and then we get spending money if you win that. We have a bucket of cheer, we have lottery tree. There's, every basket is worth at least $100 because people just For keep sure. giving mm -hmm. gift cards and um, Bix Driving School, uh, free, free driving, I think, lessons for a, if you have a 15 or 16 year old coming up this year, uh, that was covered. Um, it's, it's really overwhelming to see how much is coming in. Absolutely, and you know, we talk about community building and uh, coming through for people who you know may be down and out at moments of need, and that's what you guys are doing right now. So yeah. inspiring, so remarkable. Really appreciate you guys coming on. Thank you. Thank yeah, you so well, the Mardi Gras theme fundraiser, it's coming up this Friday, February 2nd. It's at Jim and Jack's on the river. The party goes from 7 to 11. It is $10 at the door now.